Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use R Studio in order to see what kind of data sets you're dealing with. So for this, you have to first type in get wd and brackets. Remember that R Studio is a case sensitive platform. In, uh, you have to be very careful while writing your code because if your code has any single error, it won't show you what error you are uh, making but it will it won't run your code and you have to be cautious about your cursor where, where it is if it would be like if i would write get w and d and uh, place my cursor in the beginning it wouldn't run the code so after doing this how to get into directory first of all we have to get into data so first i'm going to write data 8 you can use any sort of variable with data because data is its own uh, uh, backend uh, programming is done on data so you have to use some other name like data 8, data 9 or you can use any sort of variable to store your data in. Then we have to write read dot so now I'm dealing with a CSV file so I have to write read dot CSV otherwise you have a wide option of using all types of files you can even use registry file in order to read the data but i have a read csv file right now so i'm going to go for read.csv uh, and before that before doing all that i have to be in that respective file where my actual file belongs in so you have two ways to do this either you can go it through do it through session and then choose a directory from here or you can just go on to desktop like over here and I have my sorry for opening that um, I don't want to see that no. No. no okay so I have my over here but uh, I don't want to show all of my data over here so I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all delete it and write the code again get wd but you guys should understand what I'm trying to say is that you have two ways to access your folder now I have to write the code again data for example 7 here csv Two. Okay, I have to go in my file over here and write stats two. Comma. Header is equals to run it first now you can see in the console area <coughs> that my file has been added so after doing that i'm going to do let's plot the graph and see what it's all about plot data 8 and let's run it now you see over here it's showing data regarding bank walk talk and heart now let's go ahead and do a linear regression on it and I'm doing this this um, now in order to access your Wait after first. Now I have to select which variable I, I want to place on the first link 
first let's uh, use it on part so part is going to be the dependent variable and rest of the variables are going to be the independent variables data it dollar sign walk now when you are dealing with multiple variables you have to add plus to link it with the link the independent variable with the dependent one and data eight dollar talk plus data dollar sorry data eight Card. How much time the person <coughs> spends in bank? Okay, <laughs> let's run it, and you can see it successfully run. So now let's go with LM2 again. Run. It's giving you all the data that it's giving you your linear formula, your regression formula, your coefficients, their values. And now let's see if there's any discrepancy in our whole data set. Let's go on summary. Let's run it. Okay, so now it's giving us uh, significant codes along with all the values of estimated standard error t value and everything else. Uh, so as, as you can see, there's a negative sign over here. So this negative sign states that more you're going to walk, less chances are that you could have a heart attack. Okay. Let's plot a residual plot. Start over here. Sorry for that. Plot. You see, when I was over here before and I ran this whole code, it didn't show anything. But when I moved my cursor over here and then it ran, then it showed me this whole residue. So it's showing me that most of my data is between minus five to five. And I have few certain errors, or you can say whiskers in my data set. Uh, so let's do, Let's set it up line for up line on zero comma zero. Let's run it. So now it's giving me that this is my up line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot it just to see if my data is how much correct my data is. We have to check that too. So now I'm going to plot LM2, comma, which is equal to one. Now, as you can see that this red line is closer to my add line. That means that my data is sufficiently correct. So it's sufficiently correct though. And my p-value is 0 0.04. It's less than 0 0.05. That's a good thing. And my f plastic is 3.073, which is also good. And that's how you get to analyze your data. Now that's all for today. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.